Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer and in this third part of my demonstration on System Centre Essentials or SKI, I've installed the product, I've run the configuration wizard and left it to run for several days to let it bed in. So now I can see what the outcome of that installation and configuration process is. First of all, in SKI itself, you can see we have five computers it's discovered, three of which are servers, two of which are clients. I'm not going to look at those now. What I'm going to do is jump into the administration tab and show you where that configuration was put when we ran the wizard. It introduces you to the common interface that you see all the way through the ski, one pane of glass telling you everything you need to know. So I have four managed computers, the fifth one being the machine that ski itself is installed on, no network devices. I haven't discovered any computers in the last 24 hours and so on. Over here you can see under configuration I've got domain policy installed, I've got a daily health report which is disabled and I'm not using a proxy server. And so on we go around this. Now I did actually cheat in between installing and configuring and then running this demo. I did one slight change and let me show you what that is. Under manage computers I manually discovered an extra computer and that's the physical server that my demonstrations are running on because that's not inside the domain. To show you how I did that, I'm going to click Repair. And all I need to do is identify which computer I want to look for and then describe the account that's going to be used to manage it. Now, because it's not inside the domain, I put a manual account in here, the local administrator, just check the radio box here, and then say it's a local computer, so I'll ignore this domain tab. I'm going to cancel that because I've already got it running. So this is how we set up Ski, and you can see we've got this tree view here with device management, security, run as profiles and all sorts of other information that we've set up as a result of running that configuration wizard. Going back to the top of the shop brings back the administration overview. So that's what SKI looks like when it's properly configured. What's it actually done to the machines I'm managing? The easiest way to look at that is to bring up the domain controller. There's a number of things it's done to the domain. If I look at group policy here, I've expanded it out already to save time. You can see the firewall exception rules that we have in place so that Ski can punch through the firewalls on each of the managed machines and get its administration done. So it's created these new policies here. Those policies in turn are based on an Active Directory group called Ski Managed Computers, which contains all of the computers that we're trying to manage. And here they are. And that's what the discovery process will bring to this. The next piece of the puzzle is that it's installed some software on each of the machines that have been managed. System Center Essentials Configuration Helper and System Center Operations Manager 2007 R2 Agent. So here you can see the heritage of Ski coming from its bigger brothers. And that will be on each of the machines, the Windows 7 machines, um, any other machines I'm managing, as well as the domain control. The final piece of the puzzle is that it's now taking control of Windows Update. You can see it says here that these updates are managed by your systems administrator. So that's a quick overview of administration and configuration in Ski. In my next demo, we'll have a look at actually starting to use Ski to manage PCs and servers in the infrastructure.